Hey, Robert, thanks for the call. You are live. Hi, Dr. Glenn. Hey, Robert, what's happening? Well, I called three weeks ago, and you gave me a list of uh, products to take for my dad, and I got them. He's had this before, but it's never been pinpointed, you know, diagnosed, I guess. It feels like he's hungry, yeah. and he has some pain, but then whenever he eats, it intensifies, so it yeah. becomes worse. Okay, so has he stopped the 10 bad foods yet? Yes, he has. Okay, so has he ever suffered from heartburn? Has that been at play in his health history? Yeah. Yeah, and is he still taking heartburn meds like Prilosec or proton pump inhibitors or any of that stuff? He's taking omniprazole, caraphate, and I think sometimes he takes Nexium, which I think is kind of like anything as omniprazole. Yeah, okay. So, you know, I'm not licensed to practice naturopathic medicine in California. I could be. If I wanted to pay the state and send him my records, I could be licensed to practice, but I'm not right now. So I can't tell him to stop taking those drugs. If he were my patient in a state in which I could prescribe those drugs, I'd tell him to stop taking those drugs. But I can't do that. He needs to salt his food. I would give him two extra ounces of the calcium calcium a day. Make sure he's salting his food so that it tastes good. And another thing that you can do to kind of up the ante with his digestive acid, which is necessary to do here, you could give him a half of a lemon, squeeze the juice of half of a lemon into a little bit of warm water and have him drink that down at the beginning of every meal. Have him just throw it down like a shot, you know, like a shot of whiskey, just throw it down, lemon juice with a little bit of warm water at the beginning of a meal. Make sure that he's salting his food so that it tastes good. And I would encourage him wholeheartedly to step away from any type of antacid or proton pump inhibitor because that stuff is gumming up the works in his digestive process. And the digestive process is like a series of dominoes, each which knocks the other over. And if you remove one or two of those dominoes with, you know, an antacid or a proton pump inhibitor, you're going to upset everything else downstream from that and it's going to cause any number of problems. And so we have to, you know, kind of clear the fog here, let the dust settle, and then just move forward with medical nutrition. Now, another interesting thing that may be at play here, you know, because I don't have a photographic memory. Oftentimes when people are taking drugs for a long time, their bodies of course become undernutrified in an accelerated state because of the action of the drug on the body. And so then they continue to take the drugs and they start with medical nutrition. So they clean their diet up and they take the longevity products or whatever. All of a sudden, they'll develop side effects of the drugs that they never had before because now the drugs are working very efficiently because the body has all the nutrients that the drugs need to work and nobody ever talks about that. So often, ironically, some of the symptoms that people will experience after they start with longevity especially are not anything caused by the nutritional supplements but are actually side effects of the drugs because the drugs are now working more efficiently in their body because their bodies are neutrified. So I would go on the internet and I would look up, you know, the biggest side effects of these drugs and see if it matches any of his presenting symptoms and I wouldn't be surprised if it did but notwithstanding that, we need to give him more support in the digestive area and the sooner he gets off of proton pump inhibitors in my opinion the better it's going to be for him and I can't recommend that he does that because I'm not licensed to practice medicine in the state of California. You get my drift? Yes. I also had another question. I don't know if my dad may have like an ulcer or you know like bacteria because he's not diagnosed. So are all these things, would they still apply with those conditions if possible? Oh yeah, absolutely. And by the way, the most common cause of an ulcer is the presence of a bacteria called H. pylori. So call his doctor up and say, look, I want you to do an H. pylori test, P-Y-L-O-R-I-H, like Harry, pylori. That's the main cause of ulcers, but there's no harm and no foul in giving him these nutritional supplements if, in fact, that's the case.